Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So today's video is going to be how I budget. I'm going to show you how I budget, how I break it down, as well as a breakdown of my yearly savings challenge that I'm doing. So, yeah, everything is about money today in this video. And I'm going to try to explain it as best as possible. Because I know everybody budgets different. This is what works for me. And this is actually, I actually just figured out this about in January when I was writing down the old way of budgeting and I realized my old budget is not working. It used to be what I would do for a budget was, actually let me see if I can show you. Yeah. I would write down everything that I had and then at the bottom I would put my big savings account and put everything I put into it if I did and then I'd put my deposits next to it and that just got all jumbled and not organized at all and I will explain what the post-it note is later and then I will put all my expenses, expenses down below it with what it was, what it account, it came, account it came out of, how much, and the date that it came out so that's the old way of budgeting that was not working for me. So I'm going to show you the new way. But first I'm going to start with um, my categories of every year I try to do this. This doesn't get done every year, but I try to do it. Every year I write down what, because we all have those expenses that come out once. So I wrote, so this is my category, I have my yearly expenses, and I write what it is, the month that it comes out, and the usual price, then I put my monthly things, and a good estimate of how much they usually cost, and then I write down my others, and my others are gas, food, my medicine and supplements, and then I put an others category at the bottom but next to these I put how much I prefer to spend on these each month like for gas I prefer to stick to 120 a month for food I prefer to stick to 50 a week because I do go grocery shopping every week for meds and supplements I try to stick to about 30 a month and for other I try to stick to $50 a month With that being broken down, at the bottom I put other expenses that I did not expect, but I did have. Like this year I bought $24 worth of Girl Scout cookies, but I ended up having cash for that, so I paid cash. But if I have anything else that pops up, which is technically an extra expense, I will put it under it, how much it was, and then how I paid for it. Okay. So, now moving on, I'm just going to show you March because I'm already doing March, since it is March. Okay, so, this is how I'm breaking it, this is my new budget and how I'm breaking it down. At the top, I put all my accounts and how much I have in each account, and this is based off the first day of the month. So, on March 1st, I had... So much available on my Discover card, so much in my savings, so much in my checking, and then so much in my mega savings. And then down below that, and my mega savings, I will, as I add to it with my savings challenge I'm doing this year, we'll just get a plus and then add it how much I put it, and then what day I added it on. That way I know. And then below that, I put deposits and I haven't gotten my paychecks. I get paid on Thursday, so when I get paid on Thursday, I will write how much the check was and what day it was in. And then down below that, because I usually put how many lines, like there are four Thursdays in the month of March this year, so I put four lines. 
And it is raining outside, so the light is doing some really weird shit in here. And then, under that, I put expenses. And I always start with the expenses I know I'm going to have every month. Like, I know I have my Amazon. And then I put the price. And then the day it actually comes out, I'll put the day it came out. But I also have to remember that I have my Amazon Prime coming out this month because that is a yearly expense. And since I only pay it once a year, it's not in my head. But once that comes out, that'll be added on to the bottom of this. But that money has already been set aside because I know I'm going to have to pay it. And that's kind of how I do it. These yearly expenses I know I have, I make sure if I can at the beginning of the year to set these aside. And not all of these are done every year, it just kind of depends. Okay, so with that being said, I'm now going to explain the post-it note system, which is kind of funky. So, what I do is I, yeah, I'm going to use January because it's just easier. So that's what January's looks like. I added up how much I spent on gas, and that was the total. So I spent $55 on gas. I spent $73 on food. And then I added that up, and I subtract, and then I, in my head, I added up how much I wanted to spend in the categories. So, yeah. And then at the bottom were all my extras, and that's how I ended up at negative 102. Because I overspent in the other category, which I was not planning on doing, but sometimes that happens, but I didn't overspend on gas or food, so I did have extras in that. So it kind of covered it. I'm hoping as the year goes on, since this is my new budgeting system, that I will get better at keeping to this, to that budget that I set up on all my other stuff, and anything that I save out of these categories will get also put into my savings account. But in January and February, I ended up in negative, so. I didn't have any extra money to put aside, and I actually, in a weird way, owe myself money. But I'm not going to do that to myself. I'm not going to take anything out of my mega savings to pay myself back for what I went over. I'm just going to leave it because I do have money in my account. And I know that sounds complicated, but it's what works for me. And I've seen other people do it, but this way it works for me. So for example, if I spend $100 on dollar, $100 in gas this month, I have $20 extra, so I'll put that in savings. And if I only spend 30 on food this month, I'll have 170, so I'll put that in savings. But if I go over in my meds or my other category, I will also put that in there to balance out what I went over. And then if I have anything remaining, that goes into my savings. I hope that makes sense. Because I'm trying to think of a way to explain it, and I don't really know how to explain it. Okay, so for my yearly savings challenge, because usually I like to do monthly savings challenges as well. But this year I chose a yearly one. And I chose the 52-week savings challenge, but I'm doing it a little bit different because it's supposed to be the first week you save a dollar, the second week you save two, and then by the 52nd week of the year you save $52. Well, that was not going to work for me. And then I saw it where you could do it 52 the first week and then so on. But that also wasn't going to work for me. So what I did was I wrote 1 through 52 on pieces of paper. 
and that's what's in this bag. And every week, I draw a number that just gives one off. Say I drew 23 this week, I would put $23 in my savings account. And then the numbers I've drawn, instead of throwing them out, I just put them in this bag in case I do want to do the same challenge next year. But, yeah. So, that's what I'm doing this year. That's how I'm budgeting, and that's my savings challenge. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you have not done so already, hit the red subscribe button down below. Other than that, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye-bye.